Black Kites is a work which Orozco himself has called with marvelous wordplay, a sculpture, S-K-U-L-L, sure. Orozco made this during a several-month spell at home in his apartment on Washington Square. And he was home because he had had a collapsed lung, which obviously kept him from doing the travel that had dominated the last five years of his life. The making of Black Kites was an intense experience because it's a real skull. It's not a plastic one. So to be drawing on that over a period of, you know, several weeks, carefully doing this very methodical drawing was a very intense experience. And I think I wanted to do it slower on purpose. I really wanted to have that experience to be alone with this head. A lot of my work has to do with time. Some of my work is a gesture that is obviously made in a moment. Some other works are very elaborate and they take longer. For me, that is very important, how the time of perception the time of making, the timing of awareness is very important. So I think Black Eyes has that concentration of time in a, an object that is not very big, but is very powerful. And this has remained one of the most uncannily powerful works, I think, of the 1990s, in that he's combining abstract art and something which is, in this case, through the medium of being about death, you know, so much about life and about man and about existence. 